Hello, I'm Miss Alita. And I'm Crick Crick. And we're here with the Rockwell Museum to introduce the Great Circle Living. Whoa, what do you have? What do you have there? What's this? What's this thing right here? There's a stick, Quick Quick. It was chewed by a beaver. Oh, cool. And did you know beavers have really sharp teeth? No, I didn't know that. Well, they do, and they cut down trees and limbs, and they're gonna put them in a den, which is a shelter, it's a nice round shelter for them, in the water. They're good swimmers, but the predators aren't, so it keeps them safe. That's great, I love that. All right, now I have to go, goodbye. Many animals have round homes. There's a lot of ways to be round. You could be round like a sphere. You could be round like a cylinder, and animals have homes or shelters that are round in both ways. Let's hear from some of our animal friends about what their shelters are like. My round home is a shell on my back. Here is a picture of me with my round shell on my round pond. Ah! Here is my cousin's shelter. It's a nice round home for a nice bird. This is my round home. It's a burrow. And these are my sweet little babies. Who, who do you think this is? This is my best friend, who? Rabbit's here with us today to read some letters from some real first graders. Are woolly bears really bears? And are they dangerous? Woolly bears are not bears. Woolly bears are a kind of caterpillar and they will never grow up to be a bear and they're not dangerous. Woolly bears will become an Isabella tiger moth, but guess what? They're not really tigers either. Here's another bear question. What colors of bears are in the woods? Well, who, who wants to answer that question? Oh, me, me. I know the answer because I'm in the woods a lot. I'm moving around and I'm seeing lots of black bears. But would you believe black bears aren't always black? Some are different shades of brown. Some are a little bit reddish. I call them cinnamon bears. And some black bears are even white. <laughs> That's funny, but it's true. My dad says coyotes are bad. All the living animals are part of the great circle. We need a balance of predators and prey to keep any habitat in balance. How do whales come up for air in the winter when they're trapped under ice? Rah! I know this one. Rah! Some birds fly away when it's cold and come back in the spring. Rah! And they say some whales do the same thing. Rah! And by the time the ice forms in the north, rah, the whales are in the warm water and they're safe. Rah! Where do animals go in winter? Some animals sleep all winter like me. That's called hibernating. Some animals fly far away to warmer places. That's called migrating. And some animals, they just keep moving, 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 and eating. Oh, they keep going all winter long. That's called staying alive. Do you love puppets? I love puppets too. And here's a way you can make your own puppet at home. You could have a sock. I've got one sock. One of them has a hole in the heel, and this is the other sock. Just put it on your hand, open your fingers wide, and this is going to be the mouth. I've got some pieces of foam with sticky back on them. I cut one into a circle for the mouth. I'm peeling this off. And I'm gonna put that right in here. And that makes a nice mouth. I've got an ear. And I've got an ear for the other side. I'm gonna have a couple eyes and a little nose. 
And you don't have to use sticky foam if you don't want to. You might be able to use a pom-pom or a piece of paper or whatever it is that you have at home that you think would be nice. There's one eye. There's the other eye. And here's a little rabbit nose. Hello! Now you've got a nice little sock puppet and it's really easy and really fun. You can make something like me too. And now you've got a nice little sock puppet like me. And you can do this yourself very easy and you can make your own and have lots of fun. Remember, everything living and growing on Earth is part of the great circle. And every time you help anything living and growing on Earth, you are part of the circle. You can help birds survive in the winter by putting out seed for them. So do your part, be the circle, and see you next time.